Following the roaring success of the Bright Night Gala, Emma's fame was unstoppable. However, within the confines of Global, her cheating ex Nathan found himself entangled in a mess. Nathan could neither win Emma over, nor could he suppress her. He had become utterly useless for Global and its reputation. Stakeholders had lost patience with Nathan and mocked him in the meeting. Nathan was furious when they took their investments back. Every bone in his body was filled with hatred for Emma as Mia's models waited for him. Ariel, have you ever done a runway show? Yes. I was the winner of the model search competition. Of course. In that case, you don't need to go through training. Nathan was aware that the existing clients of Global wanted to work with Emma desperately. But he slyly held back those offers, wanting to crush Emma's career. He sheepishly recommended one of the offers to Ariel. I will fix a manager for you soon. She will guide you through everything. Mr. Davis, thank you so much. Watching Ariel smile like that, Nathan felt a mix of emotions. He went back to the time when he met Emma as a young and naive model, just like Ariel. In fact, Ariel was so similar to Emma that it sparked anger inside of Nathan. He made a promise to himself. He wanted Ariel to imitate Emma and steal her fame. He was determined to make Ariel famous no matter what. That's all, Ariel. You may leave. But Nathan's plan wasn't as discreet as he thought. As soon as Ariel left, Amber stepped in and yelled at Nathan. You are planning to use her as a fake copy of Emma, aren't you? I'm just going to give her Emma's clients and give her a chance. Emma's now an A-list model. How will a newcomer like Ariel even match her? What don't you give these clients to me? That's enough! I am getting an award soon. Don't you remember? I am also carrying your child inside me. You should always have my best interests in mind, no matter what. I said that's enough. The stakeholders are already upset with the favoritism I've shown towards you. Oh, come on, Nathan. How can you be so fake? Have you decided to dump me the second you found someone younger? You have no right to say that. Your sister was right after all. You only care about your profits. You aren't loyal, and you will sacrifice anyone to reach those numbers. How could you say that? I sacrificed Emma for you. Then you should give her clients to me. <laughs> when will you ever be happy? When I get kicked out of Global? As Nathan and Amber were in an intense and loud argument, neither of them noticed that they were being eavesdropped. A tall figure hovered around the door listening to them. Meanwhile, a smug expression swept across Ariel's childish face as she knocked on Emma's office door. Come in. I am Ariel. I am a new model signed with Global. Yes, I remember you. Please have a seat. I want to discuss business with you. Can I? Sure. What are your conditions? Mr. Davis has given me one of your runway shows, and your manager. Since you have plenty of shows lined up for you, can you just give this one to me? I can be your ears with Nathan and Amber. No need for that. I know all of Nathan's tricks. He wants you to replace me and steal my connections. I don't know what to say. You are young, Ariel. These are all adult politics. No need to get yourself involved in this. But if you manage to secure the runway show for yourself and prove yourself to be capable, I won't stop you. Thank you so much, Miss Miller. Emma wasn't worried about Ariel taking her clients. She knew Eric managed her now, and all the clients at Global did not know her. Emma just wanted to sit back and watch what trouble this 16-year-old would cause. As Ariel left, Amber stormed into Emma's office. Are you out of your mind? Why are you helping this new girl? Be careful, Amber. Ariel is younger and way more beautiful than you. If Nathan could leave me for you, he would easily leave you to be with her. You can't be sitting here without any help, I'm sure. And do not tell me it's because of your talent. I know the CEO of Star Age has poached you multiple times. Stop this act of innocence now. Is that what you think? What has the CEO of Star Age promised you? How is his bed? Is it soft? Emma turned around and looked at Amber nonchalantly. The disdain in her eyes was evident. She knew Amber would always find a way to twist her words, so she did not bother to fight back. Meanwhile, Nathan, who was eavesdropping, could not believe what he just heard. Emma, come to my office. Emma followed Nathan to his desk without speaking a word. As soon as Nathan sat down, he leaned over his desk and avoided eye contact with Emma. Is it true? Have you been intimate with the CEO of Star Age? No, I haven't. Stop lying to me. At the Bright Night Gala, the CEO personally told me that he poached you multiple times. So you did put on a mask of innocence all this while. Why the hell did I feel guilty? You choose to believe everything Amber says, so why even bother asking me? That's just great. 
You've been criticizing me and Amber all along, when in fact you were the real cheat. You're such a disgrace! Nathan had sheer hatred in his eyes for Emma. His petty ego was bruised upon hearing that she was intimate with the CEO of Star Age whilst they were still together around three years ago. He couldn't take it anymore and yelled at her. You filthy cheat! Nathan blurted out the words he had been meaning to say to Emma all this while. Emma's eyes burned with disgust as she looked back at him. Nathan had crossed the line and Emma was done with Nathan. I swear to God, I am going to destroy Global. You thought just like Amber and Mia, I can't do anything to you? Then you are wrong. I'm going to make sure that you will lose everything. You will know how it feels when a storm strikes, you loser. As Emma walked away, Nathan suddenly felt small in front of Emma. He knew Emma was not the type of person to give up easily. He knew what Emma was capable of. He began to regret the words he said. Meanwhile, the people from Star Age arrived downstairs. The CEO, Mr. Ray Parker, came down personally to invite Emma to dinner, but she refused. Sorry, Mr. Parker, I have my own car. Ray felt rejected as he watched Emma drive off into the distance and disappear. Just then, Ariel appeared out of nowhere and blocked the CEO's way. If Emma is not interested, can I come for that dinner? Ariel's naive behavior was too frustrating for Ray, but he thought about it. Even though Ariel was missing the elegance and professionalism of Emma, she still had age to her advantage. Ariel wasn't that bad of an option after all, he thought. Meanwhile, on the way back home, Emma was lost in her thoughts. Is everything okay, Emma? Did you have an argument with that jerk and his filthy girlfriend? Hearing those words reminded Emma of Nathan's words. She realized she was too gentle for global pictures. It was time to destroy Amber and Nathan, and there will be no holding back. Luckily, the awards ceremony was around the corner. Meanwhile, Lisa went quiet and escorted Emma back to her home in Tribeca. It was important for Emma to get some rest. Good night, Emma. As Emma walked in the apartment, Eric went through a few documents. Seeing Eric's charming face, Emma calmed down her emotions. What are you looking at? It's for you. I am finding a suitable management agency for you. After Global, you need to find a better and stronger team to represent you. Emma thought Eric would suggest Star Age, but instead he went for the H-World Agency. It wasn't on the same lines as Kaleidoscope, but it had an excellent reputation of managing international supermodels. Have you arranged an appointment with them? No. They will be holding auditions soon. So you have to go there and fight for your spot yourself. Emma never doubted Eric's decisions. She knew Amber was joining the Creative Century Agency, and Ariel was stealing the Star Age's offer, and yet Eric chose neither of them. He went for an esteemed agency. It would create chaos if Emma managed to join the H-World Agency. Emma held Eric's hand. You are so tied up with work throughout the day, and at night you come home and scout agencies for me? Aren't you tired? No matter how worked up I am, I can never see my wife suffer. It wouldn't be wrong to say that you were the one who was shaping my career? I am just waiting to become your personal manager, my dear wife. Will Emma be able to pull out this massive deal with H-World? How will it affect Amber and Nathan? Has Eric planned something bigger for Emma? To find out what happens next... Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.